somebody's in a bad mood. I'm not gonna say the name, but it begins with an A. Somebody's in a bad mood. I'm not gonna say the name, but it begins with an A. So Annie was in a really bad mood this morning. I have no idea why. I think maybe because she was tired and yesterday just really wore everyone out between soccer and getting home and having a late dinner and then late showers and we were just really, really tired. And then Jana had maybe like two math problems to finish for homework, but we were just really tired and I woke her up and she just did not want to get up. Oh, and I can't move because there's a line of cars coming behind me dropping off their, their kids. So I'm gonna wait till it clears out. So she was just in a really foul mood and I got her in the car and got her buckled in and she tried to unbuckle it and had to go and buckle her back. It was just a mess. And I dropped her off at school just now. Lucy's feeling better, by the way. She's really good. She's up to par. She made it to soccer last night. Um, you, you guys saw that. But um, she she felt so much better today. Um, do you know how when you go to certain schools for a few years and you get to know some of the families and you become familiar with some of the staff and you see the same kids in your classes and, and things like that. Um, I just had a lady stop me in the hallway and I've seen her around several times. Um, she Her kids grew up with Jaina going to the elementary school and middle school and she also has a son Lucy's age so they know the family because we see him in the different classrooms and see him every day here. She remembers me when I was pregnant with Annie. So she stops me in the middle of the hallway and says that's that that can't be the baby like that's the baby she said that can't be the baby like that's the baby that's the baby so I get that reaction a lot quite a bit from people who think I have another child because they, they know I had a baby and I was like no that's the baby that's the baby <laughs> that's it that's the baby and yes yeah, she's going to school <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy how time goes by so quickly Oy, but um, I think I can leave now, hopefully. So I gotta get home. My husband doesn't go to work until tonight. I work from 12 to four, it's a really short shift, but that's fine. 12 to four, and then he goes to work after I get home. So um, hopefully everything goes pretty well with the kids getting out and getting home. Can I leave yet? I don't like being stuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try and leave now. See you guys later. Guys, I almost forgot to pay my utility bill. It's the first of the month and everything is due. And I always pay my utility bill on the first day of every month. And I almost forgot it today. Um, this whole week with the kids going back to school, it's just been really hectic. And it's just really hard to keep up with things. I'm sure we'll fall into a, a good routine here very soon. Um, I had to go pay my utility bills. And then, you know how you prioritize your bills every month? Um, your, your living expenses get paid first, like your rent on your mortgage, and then your utilities, and then if, if your state requires car insurance, you get that paid off too. And then my phone, because I can't be without a phone with the kids are in school. Um, our non-necessary bills are cable and Netflix. Those are luxury bills, which I can let go at any time if we just don't have the money for them. And I can cover, I'm a, I can cover the bills pretty good um, with the money my husband's getting from working. That's going to help cover some extra stuff that the kids actually need for school. You know how they give you like the full list before they start school and then like a week later you find out they need you know extra supplies and stuff. That's pretty much what happened for us. We had, Jana needs a, a new folder or one more folder and I think Annie needs some wipes which I, I took. I, 
I gave her some wipes for school, but I think I'm going to pick up some extra. And they also have a teacher's wish list, which I think I am going to, you know, get a couple items off of. And next week, I'm going to look into getting Jaina, you know, a, a small phone. So when she is by herself, which won't be all that often, trust me, I'm not that parent who leaves her kids off so, so she can go party. I, I don't play like that. But on the small chances, on the small chance she has a lounge, you know, she'll have a phone to call people, call me at work or call, you know, get a hold of her grandma, which knows the situation and, you know, um, so she'll be safe and sound. Um, I have to go to work in a little bit. I have to go pay another bill, but I'm going to do that online. And, oh, my husband's blood sugar was 186 this morning. So the insulin is doing its job. It took a few days to kind of level out, but it's working. So he worked last night so he's really tired I had to wake him up after I got home from um, taking the kids to school to remind him to take his uh, insulin and his gabapentin because he just was so exhausted I don't remember what time he got home last night but it was pretty late it was I think maybe close to midnight but I'm gonna go in and get some extra stuff done and I'll see you guys in a bit so we're actually able to get some time together between before I have to go to work and before the kids come home I have to be at work in an hour, but um, my husband and I are going to go maybe grab coffee or something just before I go in, and we rarely actually get to spend time together because our schedules are pretty crazy. Um, I have to work around the school schedule, my work schedule, my husband's schedule, that's three schedules, and everybody has to work around me, and everybody has to work around the schools, and it gets pretty chaotic very, very quickly. So we hardly ever are we really home at the same time during normal hours because my husband works really late and my hours can really vary from day to day even though I don't work at night that much so I'm home with my kids so it's just really really nice to actually get some time together even though it's not going to be very much at all but it's still a pretty nice break in between all the craziness we have to deal with day in and day out. I want just a small mocha, non-fat with them. Um, they are serving lunch. A small... I really shouldn't be doing this, guys. Mocha with non-fat milk. And I need a large mocha with Probably not, no. No, I shouldn't even be doing the mocha. Uh, that should be it. <laughs> a small mocha with non-fat milk. Hey, look, no. They have yeah, pick two for three. Milk. Whole milk or non-fat milk in that one? Whole milk. Right. That's cheap. Here's our little food. Pick 18, thank you. Hold on one second. Ask if they can do the pick two for three. Did you want to do that? Okay. You just split something with me? What do you want? I don't know. But I don't have any kids, so I want to kind of eat this. I should be eating this crap, I know, but... We don't do this very often at all. Just yet. But what well, do you want? Ladies, wait. Um. Did you just wait for your six dollar burger? Because I can't even pay that much. I mean, it's not even that cheap with my discount. Oh, we got somebody behind us. Ask her. Uh, tell me what to do. The two for three, and then just split them. Uh, can I get the two for three? Um. A burger. What do you want? Um, double cheeseburger. Yeah, just a double cheeseburger. Can I get the two for three double cheeseburger? Okay. One with only ketchup. work 
I had to take hus my, my husband to work and take my kids home because they're, you know, with us as we're getting from point A to point B. Um, it's 8 o'clock and Annie is already laying down right now. I think school just really tires her out. And the other day with soccer and, and everything Lucy had to do, that didn't help much either. So everybody kind of lost a little bit of sleep. So I think she's just kind of making up for it. She's already out. And it's not even really her bedtime right now, but I'm not going to complain. Um, I got a note from Annie's teacher stating that she's having really, really good days in class. I mean, she is doing really well, but they're having this one particular issue, and it's with their bathroom procedure. I'm kind of laughing at this, but I'm kind of not, because I don't mean to laugh at the teacher. I guess I'm just kind of laughing at the situation, because I saw it coming. Annie will only let her teacher help her to the bathroom, not the teacher's assistant, but just the teacher. And oftentimes, the teacher is doing other things, helps other kids and stuff like that. So I can see the teacher's perspective, of course, but Annie became quickly attached to her teacher because of all the one-on-one -on -one therapy she's had. Um, the therapist essentially belonged to her so, I, I'm assuming she's thinking the teacher belongs to her and if anybody else has anything to do with the teacher, she kind of doesn't really lose it, but she kind of gets jealous and just wants the teacher all to herself, which is, which is cute in a way, but frustrating in a second way, because I want her to actually go to the teacher's assistant if, if she needs that help too. So we're going to work on that a bit. And it's just been a long day. It's, this going back and forth is is really starting to get to me I'm feeling the effects of it now but it's good because we're bringing in extra money I'm just really tired and I'm ready for bed but I can't go to bed just yet I have other stuff to do so oh and I don't know if we're gonna get anything from that hurricane or not hurricane Hermine it's coming up the Gulf Coast of Florida and it might get Central North Carolina and Western North Carolina I'm not sure but if it does it does so I will see you guys later and I hope you guys are having a fabulous night. Bye.